any member of Youth Voices can log in and create a playlist with XPs and a badge. A playlist is a group of XPs, which are digital prompts that you are going to design, and online resources that you think will engage young people in important tasks and skill development that gets recognized with a badge. I'm going to show how to set these up for other Youth Voices members and users. You'll create a page right here on Youth Voices that any teacher can use to guide their students. And don't worry, you won't be alone. Other youth and other mentors and teachers can co-design this with you if you want us to. Start by clicking Create Page under Member Home. Give your playlist a title. This can be changed later. Try to write a title that starts with a strong verb and a precise noun that gets to the heart of the learning that this playlist will bring forward. There's a list of verbs at youthvoices.live slash verbs that you might use to spur your thinking. Next, click on Backend Editor and take a look at the Visual Composer. The first thing to do here is to add a template by clicking Add Template. Go to My Templates and click the plus sign to the right of the template titled Playlist XP and Badge Builder. Just hit it once and pause. Count to 30 or 40 and see if a group of boxes appears. It takes a little time to load and you don't want to load it two or three times. Now you are ready to build a playlist with XPs and a badge. Notice that we have given you three XPs here. That's a good number to start with. If you end up with one fewer or one more, that's cool. But let's keep the XPs to between two and four. Here's why. You want your directions in each XP to be as concise as possible, even memorable. Each XP can't have a lot of steps within it or you'll lose your learner. On the other hand, the XP needs to have a product at the end, some piece of writing, an image, a link, a video, or something digital that can be uploaded to the show and tell section of that XP. So allow simplicity and significance to be your guides on how much goes into an XP. On the technical side, please notice that each of the containers have three options edit, clone, and delete. These tools will help you to build your own content into this template. Now scroll across the custom heading at the top, edit, and add your playlist title here. Then go under design options and replace the image with an appropriate image of your own. Good start. Check the instructions in the blue box, then delete that message box. Now would be a good time to save your draft if you haven't done so yet. You can always preview your work at any time, but remember that preview is just that. It's not saved yet. Move on to the description. Keep this simple, one or two sentences at the most. Okay, maybe three if they are all really short. Start with will you and go from there. Your image under the title, the title and the description is what we will see on the playlist page at youthvoices.live slash playlists. Now you need to create the first XP. Each XP has the following boxes that you need to edit. 
one, you need an image. Two, write another strong title to describe what students are doing in this XP. Three, describe what you want the student to do for this XP. This might be a list of two or three steps, but again, simplicity is the key. Four, resources. Add links to resources that will help youth understand what they are making or that they need for background. Either clone and add more resources or delete them if you don't use them. Make a short list of what the youth should have completed by the end of the XP. That's the fifth thing. Begin with you will have and go from there. This list should be quite specific but might provide options as well. You don't have to do anything with the submit button. Time to save your draft again. Go in this way for the next two or three XPs. You can clone an entire row at the top of any of the XPs to add another set of boxes, or delete an entire row if you only have two XPs. When it comes to making the badge, there are five items to edit here as well. One, you need a badge title. This should be the same as the playlist title. This isn't necessary, but it makes sense to me. The badge image needs to be downloaded, edited, and uploaded in place of the template that is here. Three, you need a list of criteria for this badge. This is simply a collection of the you will have list that you have already written for each of the XPs. Four, choose a workforce competency. And five, list the competencies and standards for this badge. I'm recommending that we start with Mozilla's Web Literacy Standards, just to have a common reference point, and because they have done careful research to create these and to correlate them with the 21st century standards. All of this information, along with the student's work for each of the XPs, will be attached to the badge, which we will publish on Youth Voices, and the student will link to it on his or her profile. So that's a lot. The idea of the screencast is to give you an overview. It should be clear that you don't have to create this whole thing yourself. Teachers and mentors can edit and add sections. We can co-design with students. And other youth can be allowed in under supervision as well. Let's build playlists, XPs, and badges together.